Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm going to be going through and showing all of you guys how to actually unlock the under shed base. I've gotten a lot of people who have been asking me, Sim, how do you do this? And it starts off with this conversation I am currently having with Burgle right now. So once you have turned in all four Burgle chips to Burgle, he will ask you to go and find Dr. Tully's scabby. So he's going to give you a location. But the problem is, is that a lot of people are also wondering, hey, Sim, where the heck is that scabby? Well, I'm about to show you guys as well. But like I said, you are going to need all four chips. You are going to need the chip from the hedge base, the chip from the haze base, the chip from the black ant lab, and the chip from the pond base. Once you have all four of those chips, you'll bring them back and he will say, time to go and find Dr. Tully's scabby. And we're going to go and show you guys where that is right now. Now, what you guys are watching is pre-stream footage by me, but let's keep on going and let's get to the point where we find that scabby. Okay, so here we are up on top of the side of the shed porch, and you can see that we are right near one of the batteries and the giant soda can that has been there since, well, since the last couple updates. And what we're doing right now is we're going to be jumping up on top of this baseball bat that's right here then you're going to run all the way up to the top of the baseball bat that is up here and you are going to jump down onto the base of the chair this is an important thing to do and also another important thing to do speaking of that is to bring a tuft with you because otherwise you are going to take some serious damage while going through and doing this now you're going to want to avoid fighting all of the different bugs that are up here if you can or just bring yourself a lot of healing items but then you want to jump yourself up right up on top of this hammer Okay, so once you are up on top of the hammer and you, of course, get chased by a bunch of black soldier ants, get up here, you're going to run right to the edge of the hammer that you can, and then you're actually going to jump off and use your glider. Sadly, I did this at night, but jump off and use your glider and you're going to hang all the way until you get right over the top of the table and let yourself off. Don't be like my friend who here who lost their their uh, tufty right as the time ran out. But here is Dr. Wendell's scabby. This is a full size scabby. You're going to use a tier three hammer, tier three, not two or one, three, to break this open and put the fuse that Burgle asked you to put in there, and then press the restart button to turn it online. Once you have done this, then it's going to give you the directions that you need to go to as well as opening the door for you to be able to get into the Undershed Lab. The door will not open even if you have the Assistant Manager key card until after you do this. So that, guys, is how you get there. And I'm going to show you guys right where it is by hopping into Grounded right now. Okay, so here we are where it is now bright as day inside of Grounded, and you guys can see here's the scabby that we just went ahead and repaired. We went ahead and pressed the restart button after breaking it open and putting the fuse into the back of the uh, scabby there, turning it on, and it gave us a whole bunch of words and told us to go to the Undershed Lab and it gave us the direction. One thing I do want to point out though while you're up here guys is this is a fantastic place for you guys to come and get some toenails. You're gonna need it for the embiggening cocktail anyway and they got a pretty cool weapon in the game that you can use these things for so you might as well go through and get them. More on toenails and more locations for them in another video but just so you guys know these things do respawn so they're able to get a lot of them. But anyway let's get on out of here by jumping up on this nail and jumping out of here and we're going to run ourselves over over to where the uh where the the entrance is okay so once you jump on down off the table you'll have a, a couple different things you can do you can either run here on top of the chair but i would suggest you jump over here on top of the hose because this can actually take you guys back over that direction all right and then you just run along here until you get to the point where you're past this battery that's right up here and over some water. Once you're over the water, you will know that you are in the right place. So just run, run, run right over here, jump off over here, and there's the water that I'm talking about. So we're almost there already. So you want to get to right about, um, not quite here. Yeah, right about here, right by this plant. And you just want to jump off and fall into the water. 
And as soon as you do that, there's just this dark crack that's under here. Work your way underneath here, and there you are. Here is the door. You will press your hand against this scanner. It will scan you, and then it will allow you entrance into what is the first part of the under shed lab now from here on the story takes a wild and crazy change which i will get on into in another video there's a bunch of resources stuff as well as a resource analyzer in here so guys make sure you look around grab all grab all the cassette tapes and guys that is gonna do it for today so thank you all so much for watching this one i hope you guys liked it. if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one